With this wall removed, we are able to add a little peninsula for some extra storage. Then just cleaned it up and got it ready to patch. Now, most of the woodwork was replaced, so I ended up just painting it all so that it would all look the same. This paint gun is seriously a lifesaver. And then I freaking spilled Sherwin-Williams expensive ass paint. That'll ruin your day. The weird thing about this house is there is no subfloor. These hardwood floors were the subfloor. And unfortunately, they were in really rough shape, so we could not keep them. I shed a few tears, and then we moved on to laying more of the flooring. Laying hardwoods is no joke, it is a tedious task. We removed this part of the wall so that we could actually inset the fridge into it, pretty much like a little cubby, so that it wouldn't be sticking out into the middle of the room anymore. And we had a stackable washer and dryer anyway, so we didn't really need the space in the laundry room. Max almost made this cubby too small for the fridge though, and um, we 